Hi, I'm Tilly and I'm one of the owners here at Conworth Golf Club and I'm also one of the osteopaths that works in the clinic here, Lakeview Osteopathy Clinic. And as you can imagine, I see a number of golfers in that clinic. Um, they suffer with all sorts of things, anything from your typical golfer's elbow, shoulders, neck problems, lower backs and hips. The reason for this video is that there is one really, really simple tip that I can give um, and that I do give a lot of my patients but I'd like to give to golfers out there too and golfers friends and golfers families and anyone that they may know that may help them if they're suffering with any kind of ailments it's so simple and it's about the way we move and what provoked this video is the fact that I was sat at some traffic lights in town and I was doing a little bit of people watching while I was waiting for my turn to go and I saw a gentleman crossing the road, but he crossed the road with his hands wedged firmly in his pockets, head pointed down, and shuffled across the road. And it just looked uncomfortable, unnatural, and uneasy. And I can guarantee if we could just change that slightly, it would inevitably help him in a number of ways. Um, obviously there are lots of, lots of reasons for people moving in certain ways. Um, but if you can just think about the way you move and change certain things, it will allow your body to cope better with day-to-day -day situations. So in this video, I'm going to show you some basic walking techniques, and why we may do the things we do, and I'm going to try and relate that to out on the golf course as well. So I'm going to bring in a golf trolley, um, and I'm going to carry some clubs as well, and just see what we can do to make us and allow us move better out on the course. Because if you move better, it's less strain on your body, less chance of injury. Okay, so I'm gonna explain and demonstrate how I saw this gentleman walking to start with, and then explain how that can cause problems and what we can do to make it better. And I hope to relate this into walking out on the golf course with a golf trolley, and carrying a bag too, if possible. Okay, I hope you had a little giggle at that, but what I'm trying to get across is that that tipping forward and that shuffling gait is the problem, okay? So when you bring your body forwards, you're just disconnecting your upper body from your lower body, and it's designed to work together as a whole to make you more efficient. Number one, if you bring your body upright and your head is balanced nicely above your shoulders and your hips, you're in, plum, in your plumb line, that's a lot less difficult for your body to hold your head up. Imagine you're balancing a pail of water on your head. You wouldn't ha have it tipping forwards because it's going to be really hard work to keep it there. If you balance it nicely on top of your head, it's a lot more efficient. You've just got to stay underneath the pail of water and move. It's the same with your head. Your head is very heavy. In addition to this, when you're upright, your upper body is connected well and truly to your lower body. And by this I mean, imagine an elastic band running from the front of your left hip to the front of your right shoulder. So opposite hip to opposite shoulder. And you've got one both sides. When you're upright and you rotate, so just the swinging of your arms when you walk, you stretch that elastic band. When that shoulder then pings forward, so does the leg. And that's the first phase of your walking or even running technique. If you tip forward slightly, that elastic band is no longer taut and will no longer function. So you then have to power that movement and that momentum solely from your hips. Bring your body upright and allow that to stretch. You are going to propel yourself forward quite naturally with minimum effort. So let's have a look at this then. So what we're doing, we're bringing our body more upright. We're uniting our torso with our legs basically. And we're going to allow the arms to just swing, not forced, just swing with the natural momentum and pendulum motion that they want to do, just allow it to happen.
So I hope that's made sense and it helps some of you out there. I'm going to take this outside now with a trolley and see if I can help any of you pushing a trolley around um, the golf course this winter too. I hope you found that useful and I hope you can relate to it in some way or another and that it will help you or family and friends from here on in. Um, I don't recommend golfing in this attire, it just happened to be what I was wearing today. Um, but yeah, if you feel like this could help anyone then please just tag them below and share it amongst your friends.